Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be opening my first BoxyCharm Premium. I was on the wait list ever since I first signed up for the base box and the Boxy Lux at the same time I got in on both of those at the same time, but the Premium for some reason I was on the wait list just until this month. So this is going to be the March Boxy Charm Premium. Um, at this point, I'm like drowning in Boxy Charms. How many people out there actually are subscribed to like all of them? Is that like a weird thing? Is that a normal thing? Uh, let me know. <laughs> but I just want to try it out and see if I'm going to keep them all or if I'm just going to do some. I don't know. At this point, I'm enjoying. Okay. I saw something about Fenty Beauty, but I, I didn't know exactly what that even meant, like BoxyCharm and Fenty, like are these boxes usually one brand or I, I don't know, I just, so BoxyCharm times Fenty Beauty, hmm. I, I don't even know what I was expecting, I'm not really someone who, who researches too much into like spoilers or looking up like the boards or thing, I just kind of make my choices on the site and see when it's coming. I never really look too much into things. Um, I know there's a lot of people who like really, really like research every single bit. So a lot of this is like sur surprising to me. So this is my general re uh, reaction. I knew there was something cause I saw it on the site about Fenty Beauty, but I don't, I didn't really know what to expect right now. So inside the box, it actually has Fenty Beauty by Rihanna times Boxy Charm Premium. So wow. Okay. So everything in here is Fenty. I don't know. I don't know if people out there right now are seeing this and just like she's so dumb. But I, I don't I don't know. I just don't do the research on anything. But I, I did see a sneak peek. I wasn't sure if that's what I was getting or if that was like some kind of special edition for I don't know what. But or some past thing, but I'm generally shocked right now that there are all Fenty products in here because I know these are not cheap and I've never tried Fenty Beauty before, but I see so many people on YouTube and Instagram using it and I'm like, that seems like a really legit brand. Um, usually I'm not for like celebrity, um, celebrity made brands, but that's how I felt it originally about Fenty. I'm like, oh, it's just another celebrity brand. It's probably not even that good. But then I constantly started seeing like people like legit loving it. Like, like for me now, I, I really feel like it's got a lot of credibility as not something that was just like, you know, made up using Rihanna's name and just kind of gaining popularity off of that, but they're actually really, really good products. So let me just pick the first thing in here. Okay. Matchsticks. This is a shimmer skin stick. I got the color Chili Mango. Let me open this up. Actually, I just look from the bottom. I don't even break the seal at the top. And also, the packaging is so pretty. So, what is this exactly? A shimmer skin stick. Oh wow, that's really orange. Okay, let's see what how it looks on me. Okay, the shimmer though is really, really minimal. This could actually work as a blush on me. And in the summer, I do love a peachy blush. And something as well I really like are things that will last like in hot weather and swimming, especially swimming. I know these um, cream products like these, um, they typically don't come off of the cheek once you go underwater. So I always, when I go on vacation, I always try to put, to, when I know I'm gonna go swimming, I always try to put together a makeup bag that is like makeup that's not gonna come off once I, I go underwater. And 
gonna be nice to actually have this. So like, I'll just like swipe it on my cheek really harsh like that and then just blend it out with a finger. Like on top of whatever foundation I do. I try to find like waterproof foundations and then just like put on top. That's pretty, I'm, I'm excited about this and I do like sticks because they're fast and they're quick for um, touching up. And that's a really, it's got a really pretty sheen to it. It's not like crazy glitter or anything like that. I like it. I like it so far. I, I'm still like in shock that I have a, t I have like, essentially I have a Fenty haul that cost like the price of probably one Fenty product. Okay. This is a plush matte lipstick. Matte Tamoiselle. Matte Tamoiselle. I got the color PMS. Okay. Here is the packaging. Again, really pretty. Oh wow, this is really dark. This is more like a fall color. I'm surprised they chose this for spring. But I will. Oh my. How am I supposed to wear this? I don't think I could ever wear this color. It's just like almost black. This one I'm not so sure about. I just don't. Myself ever getting to wear this. It's like I like a vamp color, but this is just straight way dark. I guess I'll try it out in the fall and see what happens. But that's a really long way from now. I think it's way too dark. I can do a dark color, but it's got to have some tint of red to it. Hmm. I'll have to say this one is a miss for me. I like things that I'll be able to get some use out of, like. But this is a bit much. It's a shame. Anyways, we're moving on. Uh, okay, this one is called a Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer. Interesting. In Diamond Milk. Um, are these going to be different colors for for everyone who's gotten this or is it just like one set of color? One set of colors. Wondering. This is pretty. Like a nice little shimmer. I'm just wearing um, Pillow Talk Lip Liner right now on my lips. I really like the packaging. I don't have a mirror on me. I'm just open this one. That's really pretty. I like that one. Okay, next thing I'm gonna grab is Invisimat blotting paper. Okay, this is a blotting paper. So there's a little container here, and it comes with a roll and a little mirror on there. This is really cute open it up and it's even got a little perforated plastic edge so you can oh okay so I'm gonna let's attempt to do this so I'm gonna put that in the little door close it up is my face in the right way I think so and then I'm gonna close that up Oh wait, I have a straight, okay. Like 
like that. And then in order to pull some more out, I just pull on it. I don't know if I'm pulling enough off. It's pull, probably pull a lot to just get a good grip. I've never used a blotting paper. Let's try right here. Ooh, it made it like very like smooth looking. almost like I touched up with a powder but I didn't hmm. how many times can you use this one piece I'll throw it in my purse I like it okay next moving on kilowatt freestyle highlighter in Trophy wipe. Oh, isn't this like really popular product? Looks like that. If I'm correct, it's like gold. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Always wanted to try this. Let's see. Grab this. Let's take the little plastic off here. I know this stuff is really... Hmm, where should I put it? Right here? more on the glittery side rather than the sheen side but it can be worked this would make a really pretty eyeshadow too I like it very pretty I like that I've always wanted to try that Last thing in here I see is a ginormous palette. I mean, this couldn't have been cheap retail. Moroccan Spice. Is the premium box always some kind of collaboration or is it just sometimes? Especially like the colors up here. Of course, the neutral ones. Which one do I want to swatch? I'm gonna swatch this one. This one's so like. delicate so that's everything from the premium boxy charm for March and I really love everything aside from that one really super dark lipstick but I'm not too worried about it because of the price point of the box was just amazing for what I got and thank you so much for watching you'll see me soon with 
I think Boxy Lux is coming next. Like it's in the mail. Bye guys.